Love is like a roller coaster, but I'm trying to hold on. I don't want it to stop. Even though we fight sometimes and it feels like a war zone, I still care about us. How do you move on when everything goes wrong? I'm trying to find a way to get you out of my head. Don't know how to cope with being so broken. Girl, I can't forget about what we said. I just want to love you a little bit more. Don't just walk away from me. Hi, this is Debbie with the Food Prepping Channel. And tonight, I am going to... <laughs> I'm late again y'all i keep forgetting to bring y'all along but i've got a lot on my mind now so um i hope y'all forgive me but i am going to do a recipe tonight and this is um i'm going to make some chicken broth i hope that i'm going to do it whoops wrong one i hope that i'll be able to do it okay but um I got two rotisserie chickens yesterday from Sam's, and I'll tell you, if y'all don't get, well, I don't know about my Sam's, but, um, I mean, y'all Sam's, but my Sam's have the absolute biggest rotisserie chickens around here. I mean, there is none, not Kroger, not Walmart, not anybody that's got them as big um, as Sam's does, and they're four ninety eight. Now I've done gotten both of the thighs off of this. I don't know if y'all can see it, but it's huge. It is huge, and so I got two of them, and I'm going to. I've done put some in the other rotisserie chicken. I had eaten some for dinner on a sandwich or whatever and then the rest of that uh rotisserie chicken i put in a bag in a freezer bag and marked it with that it was a rotisserie chicken and today's date on there and i'm freezing the two bags of the rotisserie chicken now what when i finish with that i'm gonna have two carcasses one i've already put in my instant pot and then this one i'm gonna put in my instant pot i have four quarts of water i don't know if it's gonna take that much or not but i'm just i am not good with taking the meat <laughs> off of rotisserie chickens so I just kind of just pull all that I can get on there and I'll take my fingers and I dig it of course now my hands are clean don't think they're not they are and um and I'll just take them as much as meat as I can get off of it and <clears throat> I'll take my little knife if I can't get down into it. I'll try to get into it as best I can, but then I'll just I just take my fingers and I just break it all up and and get the meat off and <laughs> then I'm going to like I said I'm going to put this in my instant pot, the carcasses in my instant pot and I'm going to fix some chicken broth. I <laughs> did it accidentally last week. Um, I guess y'all, when did I, I'm not sure when it was that I put the video on, it could have been today, who knows, but, um, I had made, yeah, it was today, it was, <laughs> I made the, my kids some stuff Saturday, and I had made this chicken in my instant pot and it ended up being so much broth that i had four and four one and a half pint jars full of broth and i used every one of those last week something that i cooked something every day that i fixed something that needed broth and i just um was tickled to death that i had that all right and let me show you i do not break my chicken up into little bitty pieces. I don't like that. I don't like it. 
Uh, mine are all like, you know, bite-sized pieces or whatever. Let me see if I can get y'all down a little more or over a little more or something. There you go. All right, so like I said, I'm just pulling all of this meat off of there. And then I'm, I'm not putting any onions or anything like that in the um, bone, in, in the um, chicken broth. I'm just going to put, I think I'm going to put some chicken, um, I'm chicken, some onion powder. There's that thing that they tie the, the string that they tie the um, legs together with. Now I can't, okay, come on now. Oh no, how am I going to get it off? Oh, all right, come on. It came out from there. Okay, there it goes. I'm gonna put some onion powder, and I think I'm gonna put some chicken um, bouillon in there. And I don't know what else I'm gonna put, but I'm just gonna put the carcasses and the water and the seasonings and whatever in my instant pot. And I'm just gonna let this cook on, I think I'm gonna do it on, I don't know. I don't know for how long. I'm going to have to uh, look uh, look at that or whatever in my book and see how long I need to cook this for in the um, Instant Pot. And I'm just going to do the best that I can, and then I'm going to let it sit all night tonight. It's 7.30 now, and I'll probably... Ooh, that's a bone. Oh, gosh. And I'll probably get up in the morning and can it, not can it, can it, but put it in my jars and put it in the refrigerator. And I'll use this all week long. Um, if I can figure out something. If not, then I'll freeze it in my little quart. Um, I think they're whatever the plastic things is that... You get it, Chinese restaurants that they put the soup in. I'm not sure what size that is, a pint or, but I really think it's more than a pint, but I don't know. Um, but I'll put it in those and freeze them if I don't, if I decide that I can't. See, I'm just pulling this apart and I shouldn't be doing that. But anyway, if I can't use them this week, then I'll just freeze them and have them for another time because it really is I mean it was so convenient which I've got broth in there but it was so convenient to just have my own broth in the refrigerator that I go in and get the, the jars out and open it and use it in whatever that I need broth in it that was it was kind of really cool to me I'd never you know, done it before, and so just to do that, I, I really like, so I decided that I'm going to do that, and I'm going to keep, continue doing that, because these, it's just not expensive to do that at all. With these rotisserie chickens, I'm always going to have, be able to use them for something, um, always, and I'll always be able to use the broth for something, too. I like my mashed potatoes cooked in chicken broth. There's so much. I like green beans cooked in chicken broth. Just so much. And then to have my own, my own, you know, broth in there that I made with my own two hands. <laughs> that is, that's good to me. And I think that I just put a broth, a broth, a bone in here somewhere. I got part of it out, but oh well, wait a minute. No, maybe not. Maybe I didn't put it in here. 
Maybe I broke it off down here somewhere. <clears throat> but see, my I get so messy when I do this because I am. I mean, I'm sure that y'all, other people know how to do this better than I do because I just use my fingers and pull it off. And, and I did get, well, I it had been in the refrigerator, so I had to, why am I? I had it in the refrigerator, so I had to put it in the microwave to heat it up a little bit so I could get the broth, you know, off of the chicken because it was broth all over it. So hopefully I'm going to be able to use that broth, the broth that was in here as well. well I know I'm going to. I'm going to scrape it in there. Um, that... <laughs> This is just, there is just so much meat on these chickens. And, you know, I never, never had noticed it until I saw somewhere about somebody was talking about Sam's rotisserie chickens, how good they were. And so I decided to get one, but I didn't, nobody didn't say how big they were. I don't know if, like I said, I don't know if where you live they're big, but here they're real big. All right, so let me wipe my hands off and cut my camera off, and I'm going to get this, the rest of this meat off, and then I'm going to bring y'all along, and we're going to put it in the the carcasses and the water in the Instant Pot, and we'll start this up. All right, I'll bring you back. Okay, y'all, I'm back. All right, so I am um, going to, well, I have shadows in here. I never have those, but I don't usually do videos at night either. And this one is at night. Okay, so I am getting all of the, that gel-like stuff, which is really broth, out of the, the chicken container, rotisserie container, and I'm putting that in here all right so that's all in there so i've got the two carcasses all the bones everything in there i'm not putting like i said i'm not going to put vegetables in there i'm going to put some spices in there but not vegetables or whatever all right so i've got four quarts of water here i don't know if it will take all that much Yes, it did. Exactly. Almost exactly the amount. Wow. All right, now let me get this stirred up in here. All right, now, I am doing this. I'm going to do this my way. You know, you got to do it. My way, da 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 da. <laughs> like if I could sing, I'd be okay, wouldn't I? All right, y'all. All right, so I'm going. My instant pot has a soup and a broth, but what? Normal, more high. Four hours. It couldn't possibly be four hours. All right, I don't want that. I'm going to cut this off. I'm going to put this on uh, fresher. I'm going to go up to... I'm going to do, I think, about two hours and a half. Um... Come on now. All right, I have it on. All right, I've got it on two hours and a half. I'm going to put probably about two tablespoons of two tablespoons of chicken bouillon 
this is the nor the granulated kind um, not the little things but the powder all right I'm going to get the granulated onion out and I'm gonna do the same thing with that I'm gonna put about uh, yeah that's I don't know maybe about a tablespoon and a half of that all right now what else do I want to put in here um I thought about chicken poultry seasoning but I really don't know about that I think I'm going to put some of the wood-fired garlic because y'all know that that ended up being my favorite one so I'm gonna put about a tablespoon of that in here wait a minute and I'll show you all right wood-fired garlic it's kinder's wood-fired garlic oh my gosh it has the best smell oh I love it all right now um where is the everything well I have 21 seasoning salute I should have thought done this before I brought y'all here huh but <laughs> I didn't. I couldn't. All right. I've got the um, flavor god. Everything. I'm gonna try that. It has got onions, garlic, sea salt, California chili powder, pepper powder, cumin powder, coriander powder, paprika, black pepper, basil leaves, parsley flakes. Yes, I'm gonna put that in here. All right. I put about a tablespoon of that. So I guess that you could put any any of your spices that are like seasonal or what's that other one that people use all the time? Lowry's. Yeah, Lowry's. I could have used that. Duh. But I didn't. All right, let me get the top back down on that. All right, now, let me stir this up. Get this stirred up. And I'm going to put the lid on it. And this, this um, instant pot, as soon as you put the lid on it, seals itself. And so that's one good thing about it. I don't have to worry about, you know, the sealing and the venting and all that. It's This seals itself. All right, so let me put the top on and then I'll show you out. <coughs> All right. Now. <laughs> See, I don't, with this, you don't have anything back there to twist or anything. Like I said, it automatically seals itself. Now, this is going to, it's probably going to take a half an hour or so to come up to pressure. And it's 8 o'clock right now, so I don't know. This I may leave this on warm all night tonight and just get up in the morning and do everything with this instead of messing with it at 12 30 or so tonight um but anyway i will no matter what i do i will bring y'all back i promise all right bye i mean i'll bring you back <laughs> okay y'all i'm back all right it's the next day now it's been like 12 hours um, this is still extremely hot, and I don't know if you can see or not, but I'm getting the bones, I forgot it, again, to bring y'all along. I'm trying to get all the bones and the stuff out of the, um, pot, because I've got a big, um, container that I'm going to put this in. What I put my water in to bring it in here is what I'm going to put it in and let it cool off, and then I'm going to, um, sometime today put it in containers to go into the to the fridge um, so that I will have um, the I guess it's going to be four I don't know I may have to get some jars it was four quarts of water so I may have to get some quart jars um, to use for this but right now what I'm doing is I'm just getting all the 
little pieces of bone and chicken and stuff like that out because it's quite hot now so I don't know if I can hold this yeah it's real hot I just turned it off it's been on low or warm it's been on warm since last night around two o'clock I guess it was um, and <clears throat> I tasted it then I fixed the put some in a little bowl and tasted it and it's real good I just don't it, it's more like a bone broth I think and to you really not <laughs> it's really kind of hard for people to drink bone broth I mean I if I was going to do it bone broth is supposed to be really good for you but if I was going to drink it or something I'd have to or eat it or whatever I'd have to put like some soup crackers in there or something so um but anyway let me get all the bones out of here and get this on the way that to it cooling off and I will bring y'all back later on when I am able to start pouring this into jars or whatever so i'll bring y'all back okay y'all i'm back all right so you can see that i got this it's still very very hot i got this poured into this container um it's over four quarts um probably let's see i don't know almost five quarts maybe i don't know but anyway um now it wouldn't be that because this is six quarts so four and a half quarts I guess would be that which is almost six one and a half pints which is what I've got to put this broth in is one and a half pint jars so I'm gonna do put four up put them in four and the rest I'll just put in a quart jar I guess but um I did strain this and I used a little strainer that I put in there and believe it or not I did this by myself I am really shocked but I did have to put on my big gloves they're called um BHQ oven glove and wow these things are amazing and I had to put on both of them and and get the thing the pot out of the instant pot thing and then I put the um whatever the thing is this <laughs> strainer I put the strainer on over top and then I held the um instant pot uh, bowl and poured it into here and it's nothing in there I that's the I used a fine mesh strainer and there's some what looks like pepper but this is going to this is good bone broth I'm <laughs> I'm telling you it really is I just don't I think I'm just gonna use it as regular broth chicken broth and I wish I could freeze this stuff but I don't know if I've got enough room in my freezer so um but anyway I've got to let this cool off and I'll bring y'all back later on okay y'all I'm back all right so I'm gonna go on and do these now I've got four one and a half pints of for the four of these and the rest I'm just going to keep in this big pot and put it in the refrigerator because I'm well I might not even do that I'm getting ready to fix some beans some pinto beans in my instant pot so I'll probably just use those for that um but what I'm going to do is I've got this little bitty bowl thing here and I'm just going to put it in here and fill up my jars and it has a line mark on here right here it says for freezing so I guess if you were gonna freeze it you don't put any more than that in there all right so I don't know so I'm gonna stop right there I don't know if I will be freezing any of these or not 
and I thought that the broth lasted for a while, but online it says broth only lasts in your refrigerator for three to four days. So, um, <laughs> I guess I'm lucky that last week nothing happened because I really did think that broth would last like a week in here. And I don't guess I did use it. All right. All right, there's the third, I mean second. <laughs> this broth just looks so good for me not to have had any, like, vegetables in it. All right, so here's the third one. And I want to shake this up and I want to get some of the broth down in the bottom. I did strain this and it it's not anything very much in here. That's one thing for sure. Well Alright, so you can see how much I've got left. Let's see. Wow, I have two quarts left. Um, so I'm just going to put that. Well, I could have done a had a a whole thing of um of these cans, but I didn't do that, so these are gonna go in the refrigerator, and if they, if I go past, I guess Monday, see what's today, Thursday, Thursday, Friday, Friday, Saturday, Saturday, Sunday, Thursday to Friday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Okay, so after Monday, I will be freezing anything that I have left. All right, now, I'm going to use the two quarts that I've got left and I'm going to make um, pinto beans with it. I'm excited about that. I'm still probably going to put a couple of fat back pieces in there, but I'm just going to use this as this chicken broth to go with the pinto beans. So um, I hope that you like this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, look below for links to my Facebook, my Twitter, and to my Instagram. And also below, there will be things that you can um, purchase from Amazon that I use in my kitchen that you might want to use. And it's no extra charge or anything like that. It's just I'm an affiliate for Amazon. And so if I sell anything for Amazon um, that, you know, is on my list or whatever, then I can make pennies. <laughs> 1%, I think it's 1% to 4% of the price that you pay or whatever I would get. But, I mean, they don't take it. You you don't get charged for it. They pay me from their, from their, um, from a, a, a Amazon. So, like I said, I really do hope that y'all give this a try. It is so easy. Just make your, go and get your, um, rotisserie chicken, get it all off the bone, save the, I would get two, because a lot of times places do have, Kroger's has two for 10, but they're, I mean, they're okay in a pinch if I don't want to have to go all the way across town to Sam's, then I can do those rotisserie chickens and have the carcasses and make this too. This, I am going to be making a lot of broth from these chickens this winter. 
I don't know why I've never done it before, but I do um, use a lot of chicken broth. I use chicken broth more than anything else. Um, I don't use beef broth so much. I've got beef broth in my pantry or whatever you want to say, but I don't use it very often. So, but anyway, um, I'm going to get off of here. I hope you have a wonderful weekend, and I will talk to you later. Bye.